Hello, this is Troy, and I'm here with Victor today. We're going to continue our series on systemic enzymes. Uh, this product today is called Astromuco. So obviously this deals with our respiratory system uh, and getting rid of any excess mucus. So this could be from sinus issues to uh, lung, you know, uh, allergens, things of that nature. So we want to look at the, the there, there are three main proteolytic enzymes in the formula. The main one that we want to focus on is Cepros S. And this is a very, very unique enzyme in the world of enzymes. So it's the only crystalline form of enzyme on the planet. So that means that it's 10 times more potent than any powdered enzyme. This enzyme is also the oldest and most clinically studied researched enzyme on the planet. So it originated in Japan, the Japanese uh, ministry approved it in 1980. It was introduced in 1969, so this has quite a history. In mm -hmm. uh, 1980, it was, it was formally recognized and it's used as an over-the-counter drug uh, quite extensively in Japan. So again, for sinusitis, respiratory issues. So it has a proven track record, uh, very potent. It's at the full dose. You can go to uh, PubMed uh, to check out all the research and documentation mm -hmm. on this particular enzyme. Uh, again, not readily available. Small dosages amount, uh, amount mm -hmm. needed, right? Because it's so potent that mm -hmm. there's very, very, very small amounts. If you look at the research, I mean, it could be anywhere from between two to 10 milligrams per dose. Mm -hmm. So again, quite effective. And we're seeing our, our young children in schools, 30 to 50% of the class are utilizing some ways to help cut the mucus and respiratory complications. And this is probably going to be something that will help them to feel more comfortable getting more oxygen and having clearer minds. Yes. And, and it doesn't make you drowsy. <laughs> Right, and one of the things we want, we want to bring up with all systemic enzymes, all systemic proteolytic enzymes are going to thin the blood to some extent. So there's a, there's a warning on the, each of the labels that says if you're taking a blood thinner, coumadin, warfarin, that you're going to want to consult with your physician. Uh, and that's true, just enzymes in general, as, as your body's uh, energy levels uh, increase, your health, your vitality, all those things get better, the dosing that you're receiving is probably going to lessen uh, or shrink over time. Mm. So that's why working with your healthcare professionals can be super important when it comes to systemic enzymes. And it might be a good idea to mention what is exactly you're going to be thinning. It's basically a sludge of uncompletely digested food by way of dairy, by way of animal protein, uh, by way of starches, fats that are sticking to your cardiovascular system, plumbing, as well as also just in purely circulatory condition. And, the body does not like any of this stuff. It wants it in forms of essential fatty acids, amino acids, and gluten. Uh, gluten, no. though. <laughs> Glucose. Glucose, yeah. Yes. Yep. No, that's very true. I mean, in, in the climbing world, once you uh, go above the death zone at 25,000 feet, it's like that whole piece, right? That you go, you know, I want to come back with all my digits and my, you know, toes and fingers. So, yeah, that's that's super important. Circulation that it, it is does, everything. Circulation is everything. That you're thinning the blood and doing all that stuff. So that's super important for any athlete or just any human being that wants to, to to do, you know, and live a, a happy, healthy yeah. life. Healthy mind yep. and healthy body. Yep, exactly.